let's take a look at ratios. Choose the best answer. In Ashley's classroom, there are 34 girls and 45 boys. What is the ratio of the number of girls to boys? Okay, well, when you write a ratio, a ratio is comparing two quantities to each other. And when you set up the ratio, the order matters. Notice they said girls to boys. The ratio of girls to boys is actually different than the ratio of boys to girls would be. So if you write your, your ratio, there's actually three different ways you can write it. You could write it as the number of girls. You could write the word two, and then the number of boys. You can write it this way, girls, this means two boys. Or you could choose to write it as a fraction, and if you did it that way, that would mean ratio of girls to boys. Girls would be the numerator, and boys would be the denominator. And I can see that they used this notation. Okay, so I have to make sure the number of girls goes first. There were 34 girls, two, 45 boys. So that's a 34 to 45 ratio. Okay, now if we could reduce that, we would. In this case, I can't reduce it, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And notice, this one is really close, but this would be the ratio of boys to girls, not girls to boys. So you really have to pay attention to that order. So 34 to 45. Grace collects leaves and now has two poplar leaves and 10 maple leaves. What is the ratio of the number of poplar leaves to maple leaves? Okay, well notice the order. We wanna write poplar leaves to maple leaves. So that means the number of poplar leaves is going to come first, and we're going to compare that to the number of maple leaves. Okay, well scanning my question, I can see they said two poplar leaves, so it's a two, two, ten, right, because there were ten maple leaves ratio. For every 30 pages of an essay Lily writes, she watches 13 videos. What is the ratio of videos to pages? And again, we're going to look at the order. They said video to pages, so we're going to make sure to put the number of videos first, and then we're comparing that to the number of pages. Okay, well videos, it said she watched 13, so I'm going to make sure to put that first. So 13 videos to 30 pages, or a 13 to 30 ratio. Avery counts cars and trucks on a road trip. She counts 22 trucks and 45 cars. What is the ratio of the number of cars to trucks? And notice the ratio has to be in the order cars to trucks. So don't just go in the order they gave us because they told us the number of trucks first in this case. So we want to read, make sure we get the number of cars, okay, 45 cars, compared to, now we can put the number of trucks, 22. So that would be a 45 to 22 ratio of cars to trucks. Between Kaylee and Lauren, they have a total of 21 race cars and 44 dinosaurs. What is the ratio of the number of dinosaurs to race cars? Okay, so notice dinosaurs is gonna have to come first. When I set up my ratio, I'm thinking the number of dinosaurs compared to the number of race cars. Okay, well reading three for dinosaurs, there were 44 of them. So that's gonna be a 44, two, and then I need the number of race cars, that was 21, so a 44 to 21 ratio. Caden collects leaves and now has 45 poplar leaves and 13 maple leaves. What is the ratio of the number of poplar leaves to maple leaves? Okay, well our order is gonna be poplar to maple, right? So poplar is gonna come first, and we're gonna compare that to the number of maple. All right, well there were 45 poplar leaves. So 45, two, and then there were 13 maple leaves. So 45 to 13.
The vet keeps track of the types of cats they treat each month. In one month, the vet sees 40 short-haired cats and 22 long-haired cats. What is the ratio of the number of short-haired cats to the number to the total number of cats that the vet sees this month? Okay, well notice they're asking for the ratio of short-haired cats to the total. Okay, so we're going to compare short-haired cats to the total. All right, well first, how many short-haired cats were there? Okay, 40 short-haired cats. Okay, so my first number is going to be 40. But they told me 22 long-haired cats. So we have to be careful here. I'm not going to put 22 because the total would be the short hair plus the long hair, not just the long haired cats. So I would have to add to get my total, right? There's 40, oh, I'm sorry, 40, not 44. There were 40 short haired cats and 22 long haired cats. So if I add that together, 40 plus 22, that gives me 62 total cats. So I'm gonna compare 40 short haired to a total of 62, or a 40 to 62 ratio. In a residential neighborhood, 20 of the buildings are apartment buildings, and six of the buildings are houses. What is the ratio of the number of houses to the total number of buildings in the neighborhood? Okay, well notice again, we have houses to total number of buildings. So when I set up my ratio, the number of houses compared to the total number. So notice in these questions, it's really important to read carefully. Okay, so first I want the number of houses. All right, they told me six of the buildings are houses. So I'm gonna put six. Then I wanna compare it to the total. Well, we know 20 are apartment buildings. So to get our total buildings, we would need to add the number of apartment buildings plus the number of houses. So our total is going to equal, right, 20 apartments plus buildings plus six houses or 26 total buildings. So that means it's a six to 26 ratio.